Hi everybody, it's Brad with the Big Family Homestead and in this video we are talking rabbits. Hassan Pfeffer City, so let's get cooking. So here on our homestead, we raise rabbits. Now, we raise rabbits for meat and we actually also sell them. Uh, and rabbits are a great, great uh, source of protein because uh, for a homesteader or a prepared mind kind of person, you get more percentage, uh, a better return on your investment for the protein that you're gonna be getting way over any other animal just because of the sheer amount of rabbits that rabbits can make when they're making rabbits, if you know what I'm saying. I actually saw one time at a, at a fair, at a 4-H uh, presentation, that they said that uh, two breeding pairs, if you go all the way out to the nth degree that each rabbit could mate as much times as they could in a year, but then in one year that you could make a million bunnies. Now, I don't know if that's correct, and I'm no mathematician, but I do know they stay busy. And another thing that's kind of crazy cool about this is that you don't have to feed them a lot, especially if you allow them to go out in your yard. We, we will corral them up like these guys, I'm gonna show you right here, but they get exercise, they get to be out in the sun, they get fresh grass every day. We also uh, use a, um, a, uh, a wheat berry, um, fodder system growing that we will grow wheat grass for these animals and that way we supplement them of course with the the uh the food pellets that they need to make sure they get a balanced diet but then they get fresh grass all the time and the wheat grass is super good for them so what has happened and what i'm getting at here the point of the video and whatnot is we've been shifting our bunnies around they used to be inside this hutch here that we built completely out of free uh, recycled pallet wood and it's been working great but we want to expand our operation and besides i felt like um, it was a little bit cramped in there and and we wanted to have more room to move around and those rabbit cages actually they, they they'll catch you and they'll cut you if you're in, in if you're working in tight spots it's kind of hard to get around so we shifted uh, out to what was going to be my office, then became a shed, and then it's a la da 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 story. But I'm gonna show you inside what we did, and actually, a big thank you to Jay Null. This is a Jay Null inspired uh, setup. Uh, I didn't get to use all of his ideas because he had some really cool things with um, using the, uh, the uh, powder coated uh, closet kind of made, closet, closet made kind of shelving, and that looks great but we didn't have that. We had a wire, a welded wire, and uh, but how we've got our boxes set and how we've got our tubs set, that is thanks to uh, his inspiration. So let me show you what we got going out here and go see some bunnies. So here is my shed, converted office, converted now rabbit, habit tree, habitat tree, whatever you want to call it, but uh, we're going inside. So what we've got going on is the cages are suspended from hooks and um, they are actually situated over the top of those bins so that we can collect their droppings for the garden and it's a real easy cleanup which is nice. Um, little side note, I, I heard a horror story one time of some people who um, had been raising rabbits and they said that a raccoon got into their, uh, their rabbit tree or uh, whatever you want to call it, habitat, and they had actually reached up through the bottom and pulled the, the poor animals apart. So we'll, what we've actually done here is just give them, and I know we'll probably have to clean it out, but check this out, just a simple board so they could get away from a predator. If there was one that was trying to do that to them, they weren't just gonna be sitting ducks or sitting bunnies. Here's Mama Eve. She just got bred again yesterday. So we'll be looking for babies coming up soon, buddy. He's a rock star, can't help it. One time he tried not to be a rock star and you know what, didn't work out. And the poo collecting bins for easy cleanup, good fertilizer, good rabbits. We also made sure that there's plenty of ventilation all the way around the cages. There's a good eight inches on either, on the back side of this so that there's always fresh air coming through. Happy rabbits. 
Now during the winter, the plan is this, uh, so that the rabbits don't get too chilly, we've basically got nesting boxes made for each of them to go into their uh, enclosures and make sure that they have some hay up in there for them to make like a little nest. So we're not really worried about the cold weather so much just because they will make that into a nice little well, like they would in the wild. They would basically nestle themselves in and keep themselves warm. And we'll monitor the temperature to make sure everybody's okay. Uh, but I don't think that we're gonna need to do any kind of space heating here. And if it got to be where it was really, really cold, we would probably just bring them into the garage all together. So there you have it, rabbits. We love our new digs. We've got the new rabbit tree going on out underneath the lean-to. It's pretty cool, they got more room. And actually, to be honest, I know it must might sound funny, but they seem to be happier. So uh, anyway, there it is. Please uh, share the video around, like and subscribe it. We greatly appreciate it. I'm Brad with Big Family Homestead, and you have an amazing day.